all felt that fat is the cause of heart disease, right? And some of you don't even look at fat when you sit in the uh, dining table. May, they, you close your eyes when you see butter. But the whole thing originated from a false study. It's a man called Ansel Case who was given about 100 million dollars from the American government for finding out the disease, be, the, the relationship between fat and heart disease. So he went around. He took his wife who was a biochemist and between the two of them they had a honeymoon in 22 countries and collected data and when they went and plotted it, they found that there was no correlation between the two. So what did he do? He can't give a negative data because he has got money from the government. He has to give a positive data. So he sat at night, eliminated country by country by country by country and was left with seven countries. It's called Ansel K. Seven Country Study. These seven countries did not include many of the countries where there are a lot of fat eating but no heart disease at all like Norway, Sweden and all. But he, he included countries like USA, England, Germany and all where people eating fat had higher heart disease or that's what he thought. Again here, the wrong science. This is just association. When two things go up in society, the two are connected. The two are associated but they are not causality. One is not the cause of the other. Like for example, since Second World War in Europe, affluence went up. So people ate more food, people bought more trousers, people did so many things more. But everything is connected to higher death rate since Second World War. So somebody wrote a paper saying that death rate goes up because of fat intake. Another person saw it. Death rate goes up due to sugar intake. The third person wrote death rate goes up due to trouser buying because if you buy more trousers, you get more heart attack. So this is only association and association is made into causality. Causality is something different. One is not the cause of the other. One is just an association of the other. So all this kind of science creeps in because we have not had really ethics in education. We have not trained our mind to be ethical and we never thought what are we putting down in the public domain? Is it the truth? The whole truth but nothing but the truth? No, it is a truth at a given time which when B truth comes gets replaced. So you are not giving the society the truth. The truth is almost evanescent. That's why when the the truth comes it's called naked truth. Do you know why it's called naked truth? Truth and lie were friends I believe in the good old days. So they went for a walk one day and saw a beautiful uh, lake. So they said why not we take a bath in this lake. So both of them got in, put their dresses outside, dipped into the lake and they were swimming, swimming for a long time. So lie for a quietly slipped out of the tank, came out and put on the truth's clothing and went for a walk and went around the world. When truth came out, eventually it didn't have clothes. So it went for a walk naked and truth takes a long time to walk. So lie goes around respectively because it has got the cover of the truth. So every lie is thought to be truth, which it is not. And truth is naked. When you see a naked truth, you are shocked. You know, that's why it's called a naked truth. Did you understand that? That's exactly what happens in society. While truth takes a long time, Churchill said, when truth has no time, you want to pull up its pants, lies and mystery have taken two, two and a half rounds of the world. And that's exactly what happens. You put a wrong thing in society, it goes around very fast. That too in today's, uh, this uh, what's called social media, with this IT, GT and things like that and computer, it goes around so fast. But the truth never travels. It doesn't go because it's still naked and can't expose itself. So that's how society runs. All because of one thing, the wrong educational basis. Education being just aimed at making a career and not aimed at making a healthy mind.